Hello everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we are going to be opening a Goodwill blue box. This is one of their jewelry boxes. It's a mixed bag of jewelry and I believe these are $19.99. I'll double check on that price. And it's about five pounds or so of jewelry, maybe a little more right around there of just mixed stuff. So it might be broken, it might be sellable, it might be who knows. It's kind of like the glorified jewelry jar only you don't even get a chance to peek and see what's in there. Um, so I've done one of these before and I found a few okay things. I found a cool uh, cameo that was in the other one and a little bit of silver so I'm kind of looking forward because uh, it is a total mystery. All right so let's open this up. I've got my magnet to tell if anything might be a precious metal or not just to narrow things down. I have my loop to be able to read any small markings and I've got a tray that we can put things in as we go along. So let's open it up. We're going to just snip, snip and open this thing right up. And it comes just, I mean, they don't make it fancy or anything it, when they just throw it all in there. So if there's knots or big tangled mess of necklaces, well, we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose. Come on. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Okay, it's the moment. Look, it's just thrown in there. Okay, so first impressions are not great <laughs> because I see some of these like silk wrapped beads. Oh, they might be okay. I don't know. I've never tried to sell them before. They remind me of Christmas ornaments that my grandma used to have. That looks kind of cool. All right, let me get my tray. I've got a tray to put stuff in and then I've got a tray to look at things more closely. So what I'll do is I'll set the box over here so we can see it. Let's see how this is going to work. This flap is going to bother me because it's right where I want to be. Okay, we're going to have to figure this out. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm just going to I'm just going to pull it over from the box for us to look at slowly but surely. Okay, so scoot over you guys. Let's see what we've got here. So first up, there's this wooden beaded bracelet, which is kind of cool. I've got an earring hook on, hooked on there. And this is something that might be sellable. I've got, you know, you've got people that like this wooden jewelry, kind of boho look. It's going to be fun to try to take pictures of that because it's just like flop on the sides. So we'll see. I think this is something that could probably sell. I don't think it'll sell for a ton, but the stretch in it is still really good. That's something that might actually sell. So I'm going to put this in my pile of let's take pictures of it. Next up is this bangle. I'm not sure you can see. Let me try to hold it up a little closer. So this is one of those brass and copper twisted bangles that has got multiple metals. And this is something that can sell fairly well. Um, there are people that like this mixed metal look. Now this is a smaller piece, so I don't think it's going to command a whole lot of money. But maybe 12 bucks. I mean, that's not bad. 10 to 12 dollars. We've got this wooden stretch bracelet that I might put into like a wooden lot. Yeah, I've got some different wooden jewelry that um, I can lot up. So that'll probably go into a lot right there. And this looks like just a broken piece of an earring. This is an earring that's kind of neat, but it's missing the hook. I don't know if the mate's here. We'll have to kind of hold off and see if we find it. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look amazing, so this will probably just go into a lot as well. I like to check things just in case, because as you see, it's, oh, there it is, it's magnetic a little bit. So, yeah, that'll go into a lot. So, here is a necklace with these kind of teardrop beads. There are tons of bonus hair in it. It's really gritty. Yuck, lots of bonus hair. Um, I think it's a pretty enough necklace, and technically it probably would sell, but I've been trying to be a little more particular. Um, so this is that brand, I would always mess it up and forget what it is, but I remember now. The the tag is like really weird, but it's you and I is the brand. And um, yeah, so this will probably just go into a lot. I mean, it's wearable for sure, and it's definitely sellable, 
but I have so much jewelry that I can't list everything. So this will probably go into a lot. Oh, okay, we'll leave it here. Okay, so yeah, this one, we'll see if the mate is there. I don't see any marks on it, so it may just be like a silver tone. It's not magnetic, but that doesn't necessarily mean for sure it's silver. It could be stainless steel or something else. So I'll set this aside and see if the mate is here somewhere. This goes over there. So this is kind of cool. This is, it looks like prayer beads. It says Greece on this side with the Greek flag. And then there's nothing on there. I don't know if there was probably once upon a time something else on this side. But there are these like prayer beads. I've never seen metal ones like this. This is really interesting. I don't know what these are made of, so let me, it's awfully heavy. They are, they are magnetic. So I'll have to look this up. I mean, I know it's missing something on this side, but I've never seen anything like it. So it might be something that someone is interested in getting. Also, like, oh yeah, it's totally magnetic. Okay. So, I'll look it up. I mean, it doesn't have to look it up. Next, we've got this oh, helicopter pin. I don't know what it, I mean, it's just a helicopter. S76 is on the helicopter. Um, This will probably just go into a lot because I don't know. I mean, again, I could look it up and just see what it is. And then here's the first of these silk wrapped beads. There's another one. Let's see if I can pull it out. Oh, there's two of other ones. There's these. And there's these. Uh, and they seem to be like, they seem to be in pretty good shape. You know, they're not all coming apart, the little silk threads and stuff. So I'll probably look them up because I feel like this is one of those things that might be like, oh, just throw it into a lot. But then it's like, oh, no, don't do that. Y'all have to let me know. Is this something y'all have sold before? I, I, yeah, I just remember my grandma having these ornaments that were covered in like these little silk threads like these. So this will go into my let's look it up pile. And then next we've got this cat's eye green pendant. Now it's on this gross string, but the pendant is awfully nice. I like that. So let's see if we can take it off of this or if it's just on there. I'm gonna have to cut it off. Cause this green thread, whatever. Oh yeah, it's pretty yucky. And it's tangled. Oh yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm trying to see. Mm, I'm trying to tell if it's thread or leather. Oh yeah, it's just fabric. All right, I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it. What is that? The kids use my scissors. I can tell because there's something weird on it. Okay, so that'll just go. But that's a cute little pendant. That could go onto something else. And it seems like it's pretty well made. It's heavy. It seems like it's pronged in there really nicely. So this is something that I'll probably put on another cord or a necklace and sell it like that. I can just find like a gold tone chain. That's pretty. That one's actually really pretty. A lot of times when I see these like cat, a lot of times when I see these cat's eye type things, they don't seem like they're really nice quality, but this one seems pretty nice. Like this is glass. I don't know, it seems really nice. Maybe it's the shape to you, I don't know. All right, we've got a, I'm guessing this is a choker. It's so small. Uh, yeah, it must be a choker, maybe for a kid. So this will go into a lot. Look at that tiny neck. Yeah, it must be for a kid. It's so tiny, it's so tiny. This is a, it looks like a headband. Yep, this is a headband, it's cute. I feel like that would pull my hair though. So there's that headband. This will probably go into a lot as well. That's adjustable. Hmm. Oh, maybe. That's interesting. I've never seen an adjustable one like this. Because my head, like I always get headaches because they're too tight. But that's pretty cool, an adjustable one. And then we've got... This is hooked on there. You get off. Another... This one's a black. Let's see if you can see it choker with sparkles i mean i see stuff like this selling but i think it's a lot more common nowadays to find this kind of stuff i might look it up 
I can make like a little choker a lot, but honestly, I, I've got a kid's lot of jewelry that hasn't sold, so meh, maybe not. We'll see. I can put it to the side and think about it. I'll just put it over there and think about it. So next I've got this cord with a peace sign on it. Now this peace sign, if you can see, has a 925. So this is silver, most likely. Stamps are cheap, so it's always good to check. So what I'd probably do is take this cord off and either this peace sign will go so either the peace sign will go onto a different necklace or it'll go into like my scrap because it just depends on uh, how many, I mean there's how many peace signs out there, that's the thing. So this cord, I probably won't sell it on that. If I can get this off, then I can just put the peace sign with something else like there. So that goes, boom, over there. And then this can come with my sellable stuff. All right, I've got a screw back earring here. It's a dome. It is missing whatever was dropped from it. There was something there. It's tarnished, so it kind of looks like it would be silver, but it's magnetic, so it is not. Any markings? No, so that will go into a lot. Ooh. Now, look at that. So we've got another... Sometimes I get them mixed up. There's one called Moon Glow, and then there's one called Cat's Eye. I think this is the Moon Glow, because I think, as you can see, the Cat's Eye's got this, like, vertical line that goes back and forth, and then the Moon Glow has got just, like, a one spot that goes around. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong on that. So, Cat's Eye, Moon Glow. Woohoo! Mini lesson. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is a nice little brooch with this brown kind of moon glow stone in it. And there's no maker's mark on it, but I think it's pretty cool. I think there that it, it could definitely sell. It is magnetic, but it's really nice quality and it's in good shape. And both of these things just look like they're going to go straight into a lot because this is... Oh, this is all the same thing. Oh, boy. So here is this necklace. It's got chains, it's got this, some, well, I mean, here's my thing. Somebody, like, had to make this, and then somebody had to quality check it and say, yeah, you know what, I think somebody would wear that. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, then, here's a question, what are these? This is some sort of adornment. There are these little gold, they almost look like bows. But then if you look on the back, they're like staples. So there's some kind of adornment that would go on to something else. They're not magnetic, but that doesn't necessarily mean like, oh, they're gold. Um, they are probably just coated. But I don't know what they are, so I'm gonna set them to the side, see if there's any more. Oh, I hope the mate for this earring is in here, because this is pretty cool. It's plastic, but it's I like the coating on it. There's the back. That's, that's kind of fun. I, I really hope the mate's there. So I'm going to set this over here in the search for the mate. Oh, I see it. I see it. I found it. Look how pretty these are. I don't know that I would wear them. I mean, they definitely remind me of the 80s, but I think they're cool. I think these would sell. They're coming over here. Okay. Oh, boy. Ooh. Hello, nurse. Scoot over everybody else. Look at this. I love this. I wish that the cord was not kind of gross right there. Maybe I could trim that up. But this is a nice medallion with the kind of ohm. I think that's the ohm symbol. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. It's got this inlaid green stone. It's brass and copper and maybe even some silver in that braiding. And then it's got this, uh, these beads along the side, and then the fabric. Now, I don't really like fabric-y, this fabric part. And this is, well, yeah, the, the loop to close it off is broken. Here's the button. But, oh my gosh, isn't that gorgeous? I think that probably what's going to end up happening is I'll give this to my sister. Because I think she would be able to make something really cool out of this. 
So Elaine be looking for this. But if this was still, even though it's got this cording, if this was still um, at least complete and not totally destroyed, then I think this would totally sell. And it's better in person than on camera, because I think on camera, you might be able to see how cool it is, but in person there's so many, like it's heavy, It's it really feels like it's nice quality, this piece. Like maybe somebody got this piece right here and then created a bracelet to go with it. I don't know, it's just awesome. So this I'll give to my sister. I have a bag going for her. Oop, put it right over there. All right, I have a couple of these bracelets. I'll probably end up listing this. These are glass square beads. Uh, I think I have one or two already. And I think I've got one up there that hasn't sold yet. So maybe I'll toss this in with my sister's stuff too because she makes things with glass and um, natural stone. So since I already have one, I think that's what I'm gonna do with this have one that hasn't sold yet. Okay, I have an earring here. It's not magnetic. It's wire wrapped with some beads along there. But I don't think it's silver. I think it may be like stainless steel or something. So, it's over there. It's nothing more like amazing. Okay, here's something cool. This is really pretty. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. Okay, so we've got this almost like festoon style because it like comes down and down, you know, uh, with these beads. I would have to see, I don't know. The chain part in the back looks like maybe the, the coating had rubbed off of it because somebody loved it. But this is the part that's behind the neck so you wouldn't really be able to see that part. So I might try to sell this. I mean, this looks like definitely like Renaissance Festival jewelry. Oh my gosh, what are you? And you are amazing and weird and I love it. But now you're tangled. You are tangled up. I'm gonna unhook this. All right, so this necklace I will definitely try to sell because it is so unusual. It's a ballerina, maybe. No, it's like a little girl doll or person. And instead of its head being on its body, it's holding its head. So, I don't see any maker's marks. And the cord that it's on actually looks really good. It's not messed up, so it doesn't look like it's even been worn. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'm talking about. The unusual can really sell. So this may be something I look up and find a bunch of them. However, <laughs> I don't know. It's really different. So that's going in my sale pile. This is a broken piece of jewelry. So far, this, this has not been a terrible box. I've gotten some things to sell. A little bit of a mix to everything. These are gonna go into a lot. This earring will go into a lot. Okay, so this green kind of peridot color necklace is pretty cool. I like the endings on it. I like those finishes. However, it is broken. And this is coming apart. I mean, so this, these beads days are numbered. But this is a really cool clasp. And I'll probably just put it all, the whole thing, in a, in the, a craft lot. Because somebody might pick it apart and use these pieces here. Somebody might want these seed beads. Uh, next is a thing. I, it maybe it was a hamburger once upon a time. Some little beads here. This is going to go... Oh, are these glass or plastic? These are plastic. So this will go into a lot. We've got some more broken necklace that is tangled with this other one. All right, so broken necklace. We have got a few earrings here. Let's take a peek. Are there any of them I want to set aside to look for the mate? So this one's kind of nice. The finish on this matte part's kind of scuffed up. So this will go into a lot, unless it's an amazing brand. Nope, that's going to a lot. This is a nice little earring. It's got these beads, these glass beads on it, and then some other like AB faceted beads. So this one I'll give to my sister because she uses glass beads. This little wooden one, it's not wood. It looks like wood, but that's not wood. Interesting, okay. Um, I don't know on that one. Maybe I'll hold on to it for the wood lot, even though it's not wood. We got another one of these little staple things. And then this looks like maybe a howlite that's been dyed. No, it's plastic. That's plastic. This earring 
Oh, I like this. Okay, so this one I'm gonna wait and look for the mate on. So I'm gonna be looking for the mate for this one, almost more for me, because I think I would wear those. So you go over there. All right, here we've got a black cord with this little sparkly bead on it. This one is gonna go into a lot. Okie dokie, let's dive into this one. So here we've got a bracelet that's got some glass beads in it. These are probably silver tubing. It's, I mean, broken but easily fixed. I'm gonna throw this in, the glass bead thing for my sister to use because I, I don't think it's really gonna sell if it does, not for that much. All right, we've got this cord. It's like dirty tassel, but it's not a tassel. It's cord. There is a hang tag, like maker's mark on it. It's in cursive, I can't read it. Well, I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna put this in the, in the lot. Okay, this is a very geometric, really neat, unusual earring. So this one I'll probably set to the side to see if I can find the mate, because I don't see earrings like this very often. It's big, it's geometric. I've got this cool glass heart. On this one, I might actually wait and see if I find the mate on this one to sell. So that'll come over here. Dirty tassels! Dirty tassels! I don't like dirty tassels. We've got some shell. Those are actually kind of pretty, those colorful beads. But it's kind of stretched. Some are shell. Yeah, I think they're all shell. Okay, so I'll give that to my sister. Just She might be able to use it. The colorfulness of it. All right, this one is really stretched out. This one, it's got an earring hanging on it. That'll go to a lot. I'm trying to get this dirty tassel over here. So that's, uh, this will go to a lot as well. Looks like a pin. St. Gerald, is that what that is? I don't know who St. Gerald is. We'll have to look that one up. I don't know St. Gerald. I'm gonna put it over there to look up. Time for education. All right, so I've got another one of these bracelets. It's not as mixed metal as the other one, but I could lot these two together, possibly. This is a necklace with some wood and I guess it's all wood. They look like shell, but they're little bits of wood. Uh, what do you think? Maybe this could go into the wooden lot as well. Add a little color in there. Got a black dome earring. Lot, I got a lot going into a lot. This is a broken hematite necklace. Okay, I'm gonna set this one aside and see if I find the mate for it. It's got some natural gemstones, probably some agate, and what else is there? Some jasper. So those, I'm gonna wait and see if I find the mate for that one. Put this into the lot, and this into the lot, and these into the lot. Here is a little pearly bracelet. It's really sweet. It does have a little tag. I'm trying to see what the tag is. I can't read it. I need my loop. Where's my loop? Marvella. I'll have to look up Marvella but I like that little sweet bracelet. This looks like silver. This looks like silver for the win. Okay, this little piece, I never can tell what the name of these things are. I always say it looks like a little curved off razor blade. <laughs> but this little piece, if you see it on a necklace or bracelet off to the side of the clasp, usually there'll be markings on it. And this one says 925, I'm pretty sure, yeah. 925 Italy. So that is silver. So this I'm gonna put either into my sale bag or my scrap bag. And um, yeah, so we'll see. All right, we've got a rubber necklace here. It's kind of neat, rubbery, weird. Okay, weird fun. I wanted to look at this. Okay, so here we've got this bracelet. Oh, this looks like one of these like Pandora style ones. If I can pop this open, I can open this thing. So basically this part is supposed to open and then this goes into it. I, I'll have to try it again and play around with it a little bit more to see. It's not magnetic. Why won't you open for me? Because it's not magnetic, I mean, I don't see any marks on it, but I may just test it anyway. I'll put it in my let's test some things pile for fun. So that's what's gonna go, it's gonna go over there. Then we've got this necklace. It's got these enamel graduated drops. 
I don't love it, but is it silver? So the the drop parts are not silver, they're magnetic. The, the chain did not react to the magnet, so let's see. Bonus hairs are in there. I don't see a mark, so this is gonna go into the lock. And then this is a nice piece of maybe dyed howlite. There is a green turquoise, but I'm not sure that this is it. I'm trying to see in the hole where they've drilled it. I don't know. So I'll look at it a little bit closer. I'm gonna hang on to this for right now. There's a lot in here. Ooh, fun. Okay. We've got a hat pin, which I will sell. It's a little hat pin. It looks like it's trying to be cloisonné, but it's not quite. It's just this really nice little painted bead, cloisonné style. So I'll sell that. This earring, it's got verdigris on it, so that'll go into a lot. Plastic beads, a lot. This necklace is kind of fun, and it's the brand Ink. Uh, I like this kind of like liquid metal look, this liquid gold. Um, but honestly, I probably won't ever get around to listing it. So this is going to go into a lot that I've got going. Got some more wooden beads here. These are kind of fun. They're wooden, but then they've got shells on the other side. Haven't seen any like that before. All right, this earring, I'm going to look for the mate. That's really pretty. This is really pretty. So this seahorse. It looks like it's in really good shape. It's unusual. This little brooch will sell. I'm going to put that in my to sell lot pile. Whoa, look at that. It's ginormous. So this ginormous heart, I'll probably put into a lot. I think it would sell. It's huge. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to put it over there. Share the wealth, Margaret. So we've got a couple earrings here. These will go into lots as well. Little glass beads. You know where those are going. All right, next up is this cool little Celtic cross. I think I could sell this. I'll put this on a chain. And um, yeah, I think that'll sell. That's pretty cool. So this will go into a lot. Next up, I've got a few kind of lot things. I think these will just go into a lot as well. Definitely. What else have we got here? We've got some, these look like they're clay beads. They're interesting, um, but they'll probably go into a lot. And yeah, some of this stuff is just kind of like meh, 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 meh. Not, nothing really fancy or amazing. So all of that can go. So all of this stuff is just kind of like meh. So I've got this earring. It's got shell. I think this is silver, the, the hoop. So I'm going to put this to the side because I can take that off to put in my silver scrap. Now, um, I'm, I mean, yeah, the shell is nice, but... And I know it's not very much silver, but you start getting a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and it starts adding up. Okay, next. Yeah, that's going to a lot. All of these. Now, this little bear, hang on. I may look for the mate on this one, even though it's not silver. I think it's cute enough that it would sell. This one, I can't tell if these are tarnished beads and they're silver or not. So I'm gonna set these to the side and see if they might be silver. It looks like they're tarnished, but I'm not 100% sure. Now I have to be careful when I do it this way when I just kind of go through and grab stuff because sometimes it'll grab an earring and just the backing on the earring is what it's grabbing and not the rest of it. So I try to make sure that when I do this that it's not just the backing. Now see it's the post on that one. So that will go into a lot. This one's sweet with a little sun. You can see the little sun on it. That's cute. That, I might look for the mate. Boop, boop, boop. Anybody else here? All right, y'all are going. This, I, I might look for the mate on this screw back pearl. There's another one of those. I'm gonna still see what those are. And then this little horse earring didn't attract to the magnet. Let's see if we think it's silver. It might be, I'll set it aside to test it. And then this one's pretty cool. It's plastic, eh. Okay, that's going to a lot, so is that one. I'm gonna dump some of this over here. We're starting to get to some of the smaller bits down at the bottom. Just dump it all. <laughs> Just dump it all. There, okay. Woohoo! All right, so that is broken whatever it is. 
All right, so we've got this little ring. Looks like a Mickey Mouse ring. That might actually sell. I'll set it aside and look it up. That's worth looking up. We've got some little spacers. Oh, this is pretty. So here we've got, I can't really tell. It looks like, yeah, so this is a religious medallion type necklace. But I'm going to definitely see how much of that is worth. It might not be worth anything, but it's worth looking into. Then we've got this earring. That's a screw back. It'll go into a lot though. And this bead I'll probably give to my sister. That's cool. She might be able to use that. What else have we in here? This looks like a shoe pendant. It's got a clip. I'm going to look that up. It's different, right? It is magnetic, but it's weird. So I like the weird. Okay, here we've got a crucifix. It's a nice looking crucifix. So I might, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll get a religious lot going and put it in there. This is an earring. It's wood. It's somebody's put a piece of dyed halite on it. All right, we've got a cufflink. I don't know if the mate is here or not, but cufflinks are one of those things that I always say, look at it double, you know, because sometimes they throw gold or silver in. They don't realize that's a Swank one. Swank is a fair brand, um, but this one does have some wear. I can see the gold tone rubbing off on it. So that will go into my lot. Let's see. I've got this going into the lot. This red earring, I might set aside. It reminds me of Heather's. Do you guys see Heather's? I'm red. <laughs> she always had to have the red earrings. Yeah. Guess who? Heather. That's who. So these two I'm going to set aside. See if I find the mates for, for those. That'll go into a lot. A lot. I just have a lot of stuff here. So most of these I think will go into a lot because it's all sticking to these hematite beads. Um, because they're... Is that sticking? Yeah, that's sticking. Okay, so all of that's going to go into a lot. That's a pretty earring. But yeah, that'll go into a lot. Okay, let's kind of get through some of this. This locket is pretty cool. It says Baltimore Polytechnic Institute. It, it's got a little face of a dude in there. So that is something that I will try to sell. Wood lot. Mm, there's another one of those. I don't think, I don't know. I'm beginning to think it's not silver. Those are cool. I This is one of those that you can put the pictures in. I don't know. I might look it up, that AA. Somebody may want to replace theirs. I, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure about that. Okay, so let me go through with my magnet. Just go boop, 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 boop. So all of this I'm going to put into the lot. Let me see these. Oh, I like these earrings, though. So these earrings I may keep for myself. I like those. Okay, one more time. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody, come over. Let's see what we've got here. So here we've got some more pieces that are going to go into the lot. Yep. All right. That one is missing some pieces. These earrings, even though they are magnetic, I think these will sell. I mean, these are pretty cool. The shell, the dangles, those are awesome. I'll sell those. Going through, picking up what we got. Uh, Just kind of like meh stuff. I like to double check because sometimes even though it's magnetic, it's like it might be something cool. So far, no. All of this stuff can go. Okay, this is a bracelet. It's got some sharp bits on it, so I'm going to put that into a lot, too. It's cool looking, but goodness. There's a little worry doll. Okay, so those will go through the lot. I like this earring. It's got these fall colors kind of swirling around it. I hope the mate is there, because that's pretty awesome. There is the mate for this earring. Yay. So I've got the second one for this one. All right, so I've weeded out most of the other stuff. I've got a few bits here that I was going to talk to you about. This is an interesting little pin. It's just sort of an art piece. This one, another one that's really unusual and abstract. I think this one will sell. I've got a few butterfly pins that will definitely sell. And then most of the rest of this is just kind of like bits and pieces of things. 
some clip-on earrings. Yeah, so I'm going to look up a few of these things and then I've got some stuff for my scrap bag, but nothing like over the top like, whoa, amazing gold and silver. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go down there and leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments section if there was something you thought I could do better or you loved it. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Bye.